So look, as consumers, what we're first likely to see as a result of AI and automation is actually a lowering of the cost of some of the goods that we buy. Things will become a little bit easier to buy, things will become a little bit cheaper as the cost savings that the businesses are making are passed through onto the, uh, onto the price of the goods that we buy. The next wave of things that we're likely to see is, is we're likely to see our interactions with companies change as we're dealing with more of an automated workforce, as we're dealing with uh, robots and AIs that, that, that respond to us and try and provide answers for us before we even know what the questions are that we're asking. The third thing that we're likely to see uh, come through is, is that the design of things that we buy, whether it be a manufactured good or a service, is likely to become more and more tailored and more and more customised to us as these organisations are able to leverage the scale of robotics and automation as well as the intelligence of AI. It's probably going to come over first in the services case and then later in manufacturing. So what we're probably likely to see in services is things like uh, financial advice becoming far more tailored and individual for us at a mass market level. We think that automation will impact about 20 to 30 percent percent of Australian jobs, and um, there are lots of conversations around fully automated workforce, but we don't really see that happening within the next decade or so. And there are a few reasons for that. First of all, the technology is not quite ready just yet. Um, there's a lot of human intervention required to make sure that it's implemented properly, maintained, and monitored. Um, we will see the productivity improvement and we will see a lot of new jobs created in order to support the technology transition. Another trend is job polarisation as well and uh, we will see the DPO um, trying to compete with the automation where a lot of jobs will come back and job. Within the Australian market, most Australian companies now are performing pilots in robotic process automation and artificial intelligence. However, very few have gone public about it due to the sensitivities involved. There are a few public cases where ANZ Bank, for example, implemented robotic process automation at scale and shared with the market of lessons learned. And there are also some artificial intelligence cases where Woodside Petroleum, for example, have used IBM Watson to solve some difficult business problems.